uh, in this example uh, we'll talk again about the logistic regression it's very interesting example here uh, we have 1300 patients we have their outcome we code them uh, 0 and 1 1 survived and uh, 0 is dead we have their age the stage of their disease their tumors uh, before the treatment uh, their gender again we call them zero uh, no one and two actually uh, we have their medical comorbidities that mean the their additional uh, medical disease uh, zero that they mean they don't have one just one more medical problems to and so on we have the treatment with the placebo or uh, the treatment itself and the cycle how many times we give the treatment to the patient so we would like to predict the uh, the outcome here with whether the patient died or uh, survived from these variables uh, initially you can do some screening for your data uh, to see if there is any association between the variables and the outcome and you can do that with cross tabulation regarding the categorical variables you can go from descriptive statistics cross tab and you will select your outcome uh, in the row and your categorical variables in the columns here uh, cells you want the percentage here if you hit OK um, this is what you'll find so uh, um, what you have is some data about your outcome you have 1309 patients and you don't have any uh, missing cases here um, for the outcome and uh, this the stage of the disease seems to be that uh, the the death is usually with higher stage over the survival it seems to be well it's not affected very much now what's about the gender uh, well the female did it very well with the survival 64% of them they survived however uh, th the male they didn't do very very well as the females here most of them they, they died actually from the disease now what's about the medical comorbidities uh, it is very obvious that um, survival associated with less medical comorbidities, comorbidities here what about the treatment itself well for the placebo uh, most of the patient they died while for the treatment most of the patient they lived what about the treatment cycle well for for the survival additional cycle or even two increase the survival rate over for the for the for the dead people who who, who died it seemed to be that the treatment um, it didn't increase their survival uh, we can do also a graph for the continuous variables to see the the, the, the relationship between the outcome and the, uh, the gender for example and you can do that with the scatter here uh, scatter plot you have your outcome whether it, they survived or not just two variable and the age and uh, what you'll find actually is this graph and you can improve it by drawing the the Lewis line here you can select it from the option of the the graph itself and as you can see here it is very obvious that the survival increase with lower uh, age of patients now for regression so we can assume that most of this variable they have good relationship with the outcome so we uh, we can go for regression logistic we have the outcome we have the age the stage the sex and the medical comorbidities the treatment itself and the treatment cycles for categorical variable we have the treatment whether placebo or uh, not uh, the stage and the sex for the stage we have different stages this is why I change it as you can see here for to, to that to the first whether uh, uh, if this uh, if it is stage first with, is it different from stage two or three four or five however for the six and the treatment they are just two so it doesn't make any sense to change it the reference category here 
um, for the save you want to save some data here to examine your uh, module at the end so I'm looking for the probability of the predicted value you you are looking for the standardized residual and the cock and the difference so in 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 in, uh, in general we don't like to see values more than one for the cock and the DF beta um, if you hit OK here initially uh, you will you will have the coding so he coded zero for dead one so for survived this is the coding for the stage uh, for placebo one treatment zero female one and male zero so he started m building the model with the with the without any variable uh, just the constant and he can predict just 57 percent if we if we have the cut value as 50 and um, the odd ratio is 0 0.7 less than 1 so negative so um, he didn't include these variables and most of them they are significant so he start to build the model and as you can see he uh, we selected the forward one so he start to build to add variable and another variable and as you can see here up to step four so he added almost uh, four variable at the end it was significant also and uh, minus two log log of uh, uh, likelihood ratio decreased so the model inc uh, model fitness in increased actually as this number decreased and at the end we can predict up to 30 percent of the variability in the outcome with our model as indicated by the Cox square here um, so what we have in the oh, come on. yeah so what we have variable in the equation we go directly to step 4 w where it was significant so the age was significant and the odd ratio was below 1 so it was negatively associated with the outcome as the age increase the outcome usually uh, is poor which is dead for the stage again it is uh, significant and the odd ratio again below one so as the stage increase the odd ratio decrease that means the survival also decrease what about for the sex it is significant that the odd ratio is 9.3 so the female they did very well with the outcome with the survival uh, medical comorbidities significant and it is more than one here and it is not crossing one here so as the medical comorbidities uh, increase uh, usually uh, the survival is again it's not that good so we can see that the treatment and the treatment cycle is not included in the model so they are not significant um, if if he remove them again all of them they are significant variable not in the equation we go to step four directly it is the, st the treatment and the treatment cycle uh, so from this example the treatment uh, was not a good predictor of the outcome we have at the end the predicted probability we go directly to step four and what we are looking here we, we are looking for clustration of data at at the end of the sc scale away from 0.5 that mean that your model is uh, well fitted if you go to your data you will find your saved uh, predicted values you can go and screen them and again you are looking for values less than one here so any value more than one you have to go and check it uh, for uh, maybe abnormality in the entering the data or malabnormality in the data itself um, this is to conclude the logistic regression uh, next clip will be about the multinomial uh, logistic regression